Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new analysis. You know, as suggestions have kept flooding in over the months, I've always tried to go for the save the best for last approach, and stories like this and Water Tap have always been at the top of my list. And now that I'm analysing these stories, I really feel like this series is coming to an end, despite the fact that I still have two more analysis videos and a bunch of other stuff to come out in the following weeks. And with that out of the way, let's get into today's analysis. For Invitation, suggested by Justin Barnes, this story is based on the manga's 9.5th and 32nd chapter, and can be seen in episode 10 from 9 minutes and 35 seconds. Sorry to sound like a broken record, but episode 10 is probably my favourite in the show, given how tightly knit all the stories are. This one takes place directly before Two Choice Question, and is about as significant to the overall story as Two Choice Question is. It begins with Mina, Sane, and Yukari in the girls' bathroom, this directly following the last story, I Hate the Cold, which ended on the trio spotting Nishikata and Takagi acting chummy. It is also based on an omake that comes as a bonus chapter for the manga's first volume, known as 9.5. Yukari and Sane are washing their hands, when Yukari wonders out loud if Takagi and Nishikata are going out. Sane doesn't seem interested, but when Yukari asks why she isn't, she gets accused of being jealous. Yukari blushes and tries to explain that it's not that she's jealous, but she is cut off by Sane yelling out to Mina that Yukari wants a boy to flirt with. Yukari becomes defensive, but Sane keeps calling out to Mina. Mina calls back that she can't use the bathroom while people are talking to her. This is where it ends in the anime, but the manga keeps this scene going on longer. It is at this point in the manga that Takagi walks into the bathroom and says hello to the trio, before Sane straight up asks her if she is going out with Nishikata because Yukari wants to know. Yukari is about to defend herself, but Takagi comes straight out and says that she and Nishikata are not going out, before leaving the bathroom. In the anime, the trio leaves the bathroom together and see Takagi walk by with Ponytail Girl from Fortune Telling. Sane calls out to Takagi, who stops in her tracks as Sane approaches her. This is where the scene ends in the anime, not showing us any more of the conversation. It is at this point that the story switches from being based on chapter 9.5 to chapter 32, with Nishikata sitting in class thinking about how he has a plan to get back at Takaki. We mighty people of the future know his plan from Two Choice Question directly after this, but for the meantime, we are just as clueless as to his plan as Takagi is. She asks him what he is smirking about, and asks if it's something dirty. Nishikata assures her that it's nothing like that, but then gets tripped up when Takagi asks him nothing like what, and points out that he is blushing. Nishikata thinks to himself that she had better be ready for payback, but then she asks him if he would like to walk home together after school. Nishikata says yes very enthusiastically, but upon realising his mistake tries to say it again but a little less obvious but Takagi calls him out for repeating himself. She then says that he might change his mind before the end of the day, so he should give her his final answer then, before leaving the classroom. We cut to Nishikata walking back to class, wondering what Takagi was on about. He then gets called out by Kimura, who is with Takio. Something worth pointing out here is that in the manga, Nishikata was called out by the boys who call out to him in Critical Hit, as opposed to Kimura and Takio. Kimura explains that they are going to his place to play a game and invites Nishikata to join them. Nishikata politely declines and Takio asks if he is spending time with his girlfriend again. Nishikata seems horrified by this suggestion, but Takio doubles down and asks if it is Takagi. Nishikata goes to deny these allegations before Mina cuts him off. Mina tells the guys that Takagi and Nishikata are not going out because she had already asked Takagi and she told them so. She then leaves to use the bathroom and Kimura asks Nishikata why he is always walking home with her if they aren't going out. Nishikata says it's because she asks him to, and Kimura asks again if that is because they are going out. Nishikata begins to question this himself before Kimura dismisses it just as the bell rings, and Takuya remembers that their next lesson is in a science room and they all run to get their things and get to class. We cut to the end of the day as people are leaving and discussing their after school plans. We see Takagi packing up her English textbook as as Nishikata remembers that she wanted an answer right about now, and then realises that this means he will have to ask her. He realises that this is kind of embarrassing given that he has never been the one to ask. Takagi then calls his name, and he asks her what's up. He realises that if she is about to ask him to walk home, he will just need to say yes, but Takagi brings up something completely different. She tells him that she was asked whether or not she was dating Nishikata earlier today, and that the people who asked her thought that she was in love with him. She speculates that this is likely due to the fact that she is always the one asking him to walk home. Nishikata realises that this must have been her plan from the word go, that she wanted to put him in a situation where he had to ask her to walk home with him, 
and watch him squirm as a result. Nishkata tries to keep his cool but looks very uncomfortable. He brings up her request from that morning and tells her that he doesn't have any plans so they should... He can't finish that sentence. Takagi stands up, gets close to him and urges him to finish. He tells himself to get a grip and that if he can just get through this, he'll be able to get back at her. He turns his head away and awkwardly asks if she would like to walk home with him. Takagi looks at him for a moment before stepping back and asking for time to think. Nishikata is shocked by this reaction and Takagi tells him that she was only joking and ushers him to join her in going home. She says that she is looking forward to this given that it looks like Nishikata had something up his sleeve. Nishikata is shocked that she worked it out and the story ends, transitioning directly into two choice question. Where to begin with this story? First of all, small potatoes, but when this episode first aired, a lot of people on Reddit talked about how happy they were to see Takagi with this brown-haired girl. That the show was so focused on the rivalry between Takagi and Nishikata that it was rare to see her hanging out with other girls. Little did they know that Waterside was 30% Takagi hanging out with another girl, and most of it was great. Or how about the conversation that Yukari and Sane were having before it was cut off? I talked a bit about Yukari and my tailing analysis, but something else I wish I had added is that her interest in Takagi and Nishikata's relationship could be reminding her of how much she would like a relationship as well. But not because she wants someone to share an intimate connection and unbreakable bond with, but because she sees relationships as a mature thing and believes that being in a relationship makes one more adult. We know that she enjoys acting mature given her studious nature, as well as her status as the straight man and mother figure in her group of friends. And she also wants to talk about relationships because those conversations are perceived to be more mature. Now before I give proof to back this up, given that I don't know how old you guys are, I just want to say a little something to anyone who might share Yukari's mindset. She is ultimately wrong. Being in a relationship does not make you more grown up, and conversations about relationships, especially at that age, can be some of the most childish and cringeworthy conversations you will ever have in hindsight. Anyway, my proof of this is a segment in the manga, so it may not be fair to draw comparisons, but in chapter 56.5, when Yukari thinks she saw Nishikata in the process of kissing Takagi, she asks a manga-exclusive character, Hojo, if she can take a look. The way she speaks to this character suggests a level of admiration, and her reluctance to do anything about it herself says that she likely doesn't see herself as a mature person. Most importantly though, this story is another fantastic validation of the lens that Takagi's teasing of Nishikata is a way to make him a better person and butter him up to be her partner. She has a goal in this story. She is confronted with a situation in which people believe that she is in love with him because it is only ever her inviting him out. She agrees with the sentiment and puts Nishikata in a position where he will have to take the initiative and invite her out for a change. This is another small step, but a step forward nonetheless. Just like in Ribs, this habit she is instilling with him will eventually become the norm. Just like walking home together did in Empty Can, or just like visiting each other's homes did in Room. And that is it for this analysis. If you want to see the notes or outtakes, you can see them on my website for free. Links in the description. If you want to see the films that I write and direct, check out my parent channel, Big Joe Productions. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you next time.